In today's video, we will recreate this amazing short video in a light motion. Firstly, add background. Make it size bigger. Go to effects, add hot color. Add bull PNG. Then go to effects and choose chroma key. Choose white color. Go to rotate option and rotate it a little bit. Adjust it like this. Go to bending and opacity and reduce the opacity. Swipe down to Z axis. Duplicate it. Adjust it like that. Select background add effect, brightness and contrast. Reduce brightness a little bit. Flip it horizontally and rotate a little bit. Reduce opacity. Duplicate it again. And we will also adjust it a little to the side. Make sure that everyone's Z axis value is changed. Add a text. Choose font. Increase the size. Swipe down to Zyro Axis. Go to fourth option and decrease X skew. Duplicate this text and change the text. Change the color to red. Change its font as well. We will not add new text repeatedly. We will duplicate this one and make changes. Change the color to white. Decrease the size. It's looking good. Adjust all the text layers. Select brand text layer. Add keyframes to blending and opacity. Just like that. Add Red Bull can... Swipe down to Z-axis. Make sure that its seed axis is equal to the text layer. Add chroma key and remove green screen. I will increase the speed of this. 
rotate it a little bit, decrease the size, and we will adjust it exactly next to the logo text. Add rectangle shape and we will bring it to the front by zooming in on its z-axis. Adjust the size of the X and Y. We will move it below the logo text. Its z-axis should also be equal to the text layer's z-axis. Adjust it according to the text. Okay, that's good. Add wipe effect. Select text and add text progress. Add camera. Zoom in Zeraxis. Add keyframe. On second keyframe, zoom in. Add graph. Add another keyframe and zoom it like that. Zoom into Red Bull John. Add graph. Select this layer. Go to rotation and add keyframe. Zoom it more. Rotate it a little bit more. Select rectangle shape. Go to blending and opacity add keyframe. On the second keyframe, decrease full opacity. We will do the same with all the text layers in the same way. Add text here. Zoom on the Z axis. Adjust it here. Select vector drawing and draw a line. Remove the color and add stroke on the line. Adjust it here. Add wipe effect on the shape layer. And on the text layer, add text progress. Duplicate this shape layer and adjust it here.
Duplicate the text and change it. I will move it a bit more to the left side. Adjust the text. Select camera layer and add another keyframe and move it a little bit on the upside. On other keyframe, move it a little bit down. On this keyframe zoom, it would C-axis and move it on the upside. Don't forget to add graph. We will go to the blending and opacity of the shape layer and text layer and add keyframes for the fade out animation. Add the text. Increase size. In this text, we will also add text progress. Duplicate it for another text. Change text and color. We will select this text, go to its blending and opacity, and add keyframes for the animation just like we did at the start. Add circle shape, zoom it with Z axis, and change the color to white. Increase size. Select circle shape layer. Go to blending and opacity, add keyframes for fade in animation. Go to Effects and add Radial Wipe. Go to Effects setting and increase the CW. Increase Progress. Again, go to Effects and add Glow. Change the color of the glow to white. Select circle, go to rotate option, and then we will rotate this with the help of keyframes. Duplicate this text layer and add another text.
Add shadow on the text. Duplicate it for another text. We will add keyframes a little further apart and zoom in on it a bit. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe.